Okay, the video so many of you have been waiting for. The saga of the bed bug. This video is a little bit longer than I would like it to be. It was important to me that I kept um, the message and montage at the end of this weekend. So, sorry you guys had to wake up so early. Because, love you. Let me just, love you. Chicago. And then when I woke up, I saw them. I woke up. Spent the entire night in this nice bed. I'm in this really nice condo and I woke up covered in bed bugs. Covered in bed bugs. They're everywhere. I am freaking out. I just took all of my clothes off and checked myself and I scrubbed my hair and luckily nothing fell out because I would have freaked out. But now I'm looking at like, my luggage was at the foot of the bed, opened like this. And now I'm thinking, oh my gosh. Like, am I gonna bring bed bugs home with me? Like, what do I, I'm, what do I do? I slept in bed bugs all night. <laughs> Nasty creatures that are so hard to get rid of. And I am panicking that they're in my stuff. And I bring them home. Oh, oh, and you just get that, oh, you get that creepy crawly feeling. Oh, you feel like bugs are always crawling on you and I feel itchy. Oh, I feel so itchy. Oh, and when you kill bed bugs, it's just straight blood. You look at that bed sheet in there and you just see blood splats everywhere from me trying to kill a few until I realize bed bugs are everywhere and I should just get out of the room. And so I texted this lady, it's only 5.30. They haven't answered yet. It's been about a half hour. They're clearly sleeping. I like don't even, I'm, <laughs> I'm just hanging out on a tile floor because I'm afraid of all fabric right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm freaking out. I am freaking out. No, no, no. This is like my worst nightmare. This is my sweater in my duffel bag. It's a freaking bed bug. Are you kidding me? <gasps> no. Oh my gosh. I'm going to cry. I just called Ben, even though I'm international, and I just cried my eyeballs out because it's like, they're in my clothes. I mean, look, I'm staring at it right now. I'm afraid to touch it. It's on right there on the sleeve of my freshly cleaned, not yet washed sweater that was in my duffel bag. And I just, I'm trying to get a hold of this lady, but they're still asleep. I mean, look at that. And I think just like being alone with bugs. I'm afraid, oh my gosh, I am so afraid to go through my clothes. I don't even want to touch them. I don't even want to touch them. I got to clean them. Can't bring them home. Gotta wear something today. And I just don't want to touch them. I'm like disgusted. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, and my luggage was wide open and who knows what my purse is like. Oh. Last night I spoke in Cardston and then after I spoke, we drove an hour to Lethbridge. It is who set this up. I talked to her, but she's an hour away and she's just trying to get a hold of the same person I am. If I shower, I don't have anything to put on. They're saying, well, you gotta get out of there. Okay, but <laughs> I don't have anywhere to go. I got dropped off at someone's rental. I don't know where I'm at. No one's answering. If I leave this building, I'm standing outside in three degree Canadian weather. Here's the thing, everyone's saying, I just need to toss everything. 
especially like your luggage. Like don't trust the luggage. But I'm like, well, what do I fly home with? What do I, what clothes do I wear? I can't just throw everything out. So right now everything is separated and empty. I've been standing here for two hours pacing, looking at that, trying to stay away from it because I only feel safe right here on tile. Although Instagram made me feel like I shouldn't feel safe in the pants that I'm wearing. This um, is in a gift bag that's been on here that I got as a gift last night from speaking. It's been out here the whole time and now I still can't get a hold of anyone, which is like, why? It's almost eight o'clock in the morning their time. It's been two hours. I feel so creepy crawly that all I want to do is like put clean clothes on, but I don't have clean clothes. And the thing is, is I don't even leave until tomorrow. I was supposed to speak again tonight in Lethbridge. I just want to go home. So I'm at a random house. Uh, oh, it's a nice carpet. They, no one's home. Just want to show you some bed bug bites. You got two there. Got like three on my face right here. They're all over my arms. Hold on. They like swell up almost like mosquito bites. It'll be hard to see them on this arm. Oh, well, maybe not. <laughs> Look, they're like in my armpit. Do you see that? Ugh. Uh. Sucks, man. Just video messaged Ben and the first thing he says was, oh, you look so tired. <laughs> Which is so great because my like night hadn't even started yet. I still need to speak and I look as exhausted as I feel. Actually, no, I'm more exhausted than I look, but I don't get to be tired because I still need to speak tonight. Um, I did end up showering. They didn't, finally. <laughs> we washed and dried my clothes and triple checked them. Um, and then when I got to this new house that I'm just fed at just for the day to kill time and get out of where I was, I dried everything again and triple checked it. Um, I'm mostly just really tired and itchy. I am so itchy. And I don't know, I think I'm having like a really bad reaction on my stomach because I have some gnarly bites on my stomach, but instead of just getting red and swollen like these ones are, it's like a rash. So I guess I'm gonna go speak now. 2019, why have you been like so psycho to me? Why haven't I had one speaking event where I fly, where it can just go smooth. Just up here on the stand with my anti-itch cream. Hi. They're like, no one wants to say hi. <laughs> but look at these cute decorations they have. <laughs> what she want me? I have been here all night. Look, look, it's all gone. We're still here, say hi. hi. Still here, I'm sitting on the floor eating a cheeseburger. So while I was speaking, I had um, a lot of things happen. This whole, you can't hardly see, my whole forehead. Um, these are all bites. And you can't see, but they're on like my jawline and all around my neck. They're all around my back of my neck. My legs, I just saw. My stomach is like having a really bad reaction. So I just took a baking soda bath. It's 1.40 in the morning 
New York time and I'm gonna have this lady I just met completely um, rub me down. Maybe this is gonna sound stupid or dramatic, but I am like terrified to get in this bed. We're in a completely different house in a completely different city. And I'm just like paranoid, completely paranoid. So this is the next day. It's on my ear. It is just everywhere. It's hard to find spots where I'm not fit and it's on my jawline. Um, they're definitely getting worse and showing up everywhere. Um, look at this. Oh wait, come on lighting. I mean. I mean, they're just everywhere. I'm covered. No one's gonna wanna sit next to me on an airplane. Oh my gosh. You can't even, and it's not even showing up as bad as it is in person, you know? Just. You should see my legs. So we did the bath. We did these. I just put this all over me. It is an overwhelming smell because I'm just, I like bathed in it. So I did that and now I am trying calamine lotion. So I'm gonna put this on now. This is the only sweater I have to put on and it's been washed so many times and it's been dried even more times. Um, but it's the only thing I have and I'd rather, I'm trying to decide if I'd rather have leprosy in public or if I just would take confidence in everything dying in a dryer. You know what I mean? It's a hard decision. Um, I'd rather, I think I'd rather be covered up though. I hope I don't regret this decision. So makeup did a pretty decent job on my face. Now we have a two hour drive to the airport. You so say you had for me? Um, I got lotion eat bugs in the face. <laughs> you guys, it's midnight right now. Yeah. Oh, I just love when other people think of my, oh my gosh, kids when I go and speak. Hold on, I gotta show you. Look at this. Eva, if you're watching, we love you and we are so grateful for you. My friend Eva got you a prize too. Do you wanna see it? Eva. Yep, her name is Eva. What do you say to Eva? Thank you, Eva. <clears throat> Here's day three of a bug bite. A bed bug bites. What a mouthful. What a face full. Uh -huh. Day three, bed bug bites. The swelling has gone down, the redness has gone up, and the itching is still the worst. Yep. Okay, today's day four. The swelling has gone down a lot. But everything is like scabbing over now. It basically just looks like I have really bad acne. I feel like it's only up from here. I really do, right? Not too bad though. So I think I'm actually, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Woo, stinks! Woo oh, that one's done! Oh. Oh! Oh! Ow! Ah! Oh! Ow! Ow! Oh! Oh my gosh, it hurts! That means it's working, right? Ah! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Hydrogen peroxide is a world of its own. Oh, how do I explain this pain? Ow! 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 Ah! Ah! Oh my gosh! Oh! Wow, some of them! Ah! Oh, this is a good idea, right? This means they're like getting cleaned, right? The sting is worth it, cleaning. 
I'm just so over this. All right, well, I'm here to be sure. But unfortunately, because of some um, other health things that I have, I need to be on a steroid, but I can't be. So basically what they said at urgent care is that the scabbing is a good sign. They don't seem to be infected and that the process of healing is just going to be much slower because I can't be on that steroid. All right, just put cortisone on everything. Yeah. Last night, I literally woke up at three in the morning and I am bleeding because I woke up and I was scratching so bad and both of my lotions that I've been using are out, go figure. And so down here on the main floor of our house, we have calamine lotion. And so I run downstairs and it is so painful. This sting is so indescribable. I am literally yelling that Ben comes rushing downstairs to see what's wrong. And I am on the floor of my bathroom. <laughs> And we have a squeeze bottle of calamine lotion and I'm literally just sitting on the floor, squeezing it all over me, just like putting it all over and it's all over the floor. We're currently um, cleaning the rug that we had in our bathroom because that's how painful and desperate that I was just waking up and I just have like gashes missing from my feet. This is honestly one of the worst things. I wouldn't wish this upon even the most vile of people, the amount of pain and discomfort is almost unbearable. I would rather have my appendix and gallbladder taken out again than have to deal with what I'm dealing with now. My stuff is still in the garage. <laughs> Anyways, lots of stuff happening in next week's video. Um, I'll get into this week's message and montage. I'll start the music. And I will see you on Monday. Our God is an unchanging God, but that doesn't just mean commandments are unchanging. And understanding this will help us to discover the reality that our one by one God will always be a one by one God and that will not change. And knowing that our unchanging God means that our helping God will always be a helping God, that our God will always be a God of miracles, of mercy, of guidance, of forgiveness, of revelation. Our unchanging God means that his love for his children is also unchanging. Our God will always be a loving God that is bound to his promise to us. And surely, the thing that God enjoys the most about being God is the thrill of being merciful, especially to those who don't expect it and often feel they don't deserve it, Elder Holland says. And that will also never change if we but stay close to him and look, because we find what we look for. And it may be tempting to focus on the hard and the hurt and the confusion, but that's the adversary snare. If we look, we will find God every day. We will see him with his arms wide open in the opportunity, in the comfort, in the answers, in the chance to change, in the love extended and the love felt, in the glimmers of hope we see, in the friend who reached out to us, in the laughter, the happy, the tears shed at girls camp, the racing heart turned sacrament meeting, and in the strength to make it one more day. I love you. You wanna take my heart, see it, girl? Tell me how.